Father, we are praying that tonight, O oh God, what I have not seen, what ye have not heard, and what has neither come to the heart of men, you will do in our very lives tonight, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father God in heaven, for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Tonight, by the special grace of God, as we uh, we are put on the on the platform, <clears throat> we are looking at a theme, and the theme of uh, tonight's uh, prayer meeting is immediately all the doors were opened. Immediately, take note of that word. Immediately, immediately all were opened. All doors the door are open. of success, the door of promotion, the doors of good health, the door of marital progress, <laughs> the door of elevation, the door of good, good things, the door of revival in our personal life, in our spiritual life, in our family life. In fact, the door of, you know, of divine supernatural blessings begin to open. He said, and immediately all the doors were open. Before that time, the doors were closed. Before that time, things were not moving on fine. Before that time, there was struggle everywhere. But he said, immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosed. Tonight, by the grace of God, we are looking at that, um, that, that text, Acts chapter 16. Please turn your Bible with me. Briefly, we are looking at Acts chapter 16, the book of Acts chapter 16, and we are going to look at verses 25 and 26. It's a popular verse that all of us, we know very well, but I want us to look at it together holistically. Acts chapter 16 in Proverbs 25 to 26. He said, and at midnight, Paul and Silas, they prayed. That's why we are here tonight. That's why we, we are here to seek the face of God, to call upon the name of the Lord. Because we know our God never fails. Is the prayer answering God. Is the God that is full of power. Is the God that is full of might. And has commanded us. He said we should pray. He said, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. He said, for everyone that asketh receiveth and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened, and to everyone that seeketh, it will, it will find. That's why we want to seek his face. He said, and the, he said, Paul and Silas, these are the servants of God. Remember, we are talking about people of God. We are talking about servants of the Most High God. They carry holiness in their lives. They carry power, purity in their lives. They carry power in their lives. And so, the Bible tells us, he said, they pray. And that is one thing we should understand in our lives. If our prayer is to be answered, then that means our life must be sinless. That means our life must be totally free from unrighteousness. That means our life must be completely free from iniquity and unrighteousness. Because he said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. God will not listen, will not act into our outcry. These people, they were men of God. They were devoted to holiness. They were devoted to righteousness. They were devoted to the things of God. And they were following, and they were, they were true followers of the almighty God. And the Bible says, it said, Paul and Silas, they prayed and sang praises unto God. And the, prison, the prisoners heard them. And tonight, we also want to cultivate the same thing. We want to emulate the same thing. We want to seek the face of God. We want to pray. We want to sing praises unto God. We want to worship God in the beauty of his holiness. Look at verse 26. He said, and suddenly, because they were praying, they were praying, they were singing, of course, as they were led by the Spirit of God, of course, as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, of course, as the Lord began to inspire them. The Bible says, he said, and, he said, and suddenly, suddenly, there was a great earthquake powerful earthquake, earthquake of power, earthquake of authority, earthquake from heaven that shook everywhere. 
In fact, down to the very foundation of the prison, everywhere was shaking. He said, and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison, I don't know the kind of uh, challenge we might have been finding ourselves past, maybe this night, maybe before now, we have been going through a lot of challenges, a lot of difficulties here and here, but our God is still on the throne. Is the prayer answering God? Is the mighty God? Is the God that is full of power? Is the God that never fails? And so we want to pray tonight. We want to call upon Him. We want to tell the Lord. He said, and suddenly there was a great earthquake to the to the so that the foundation of the prison. What is that prison that you have been kept in? The prison that wouldn't allow you to see the beauty and the glory of God. The prison. You know, a prison is just a place like when somebody is being incarcerated, is caged, and there is no freedom, and there is no liberation, there is no emancipation, that individual is being caged. And tonight, God wants to set the captive free. The Bible says, shall the, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive deliver? He said, but God says, the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. He said, for I will contend with him that contended with you. And that is why we have come tonight to seek the face of God. Because our God is a mighty God. He says, so that the foundation of the prison was shaking. And immediately, I love that word, immediately, immediately. He said, immediately, all the doors were open. And he told us, he said, all the doors what is that door that been closed against our life, our life before now? The doors of progress, the doors of success, the doors of you know marital progress, the door of financial progress that been closed before now, and it appears as if we have been struggling to survive. The doors you know in our business that been closed. God said the Bible says He said and immediately all the doors were opened. And everyone's bands were loose. Tonight, we want to seek the face of God. We want to call upon the Lord, but before then, we are going to appreciate God. Look at the great thing God has done for you and for me. He has kept us all through. From January to this time, this is the very first Sunday in the month of November, the 11th month of the year, 2023. The Lord kept us all through in the month of January, even though there was a kind of tension everywhere everywhere was tensed up it was as if can we survive it can we be able, are we going to be able to make it there are people that were started this year together i want to tell you that many have gone many are no more here you are by the grace of god and even myself we are on this platform to praise god from january to february from february to march from March to April, from April to May, from May to June, from June to July, July to August, August to September, September to, uh, to October, and this is November. We want to appreciate God, brethren. We want to appreciate God. So many things that the enemy has attempted or go against our lives. I remember one of our pastors gave a testimony the other time that he had a very serious accident. But God of heaven delivered him. And God did not allow the enemy to prevail. How many a time we have made our journey, we travel from one place to another, and God preserved our lives. Please, can you join me to open our mouth and begin to praise God and begin to appreciate God tonight? Let's give him all the praises for the name of Jesus. Enter into his court with praise. Father, we thank you for the great things you have been doing. Oh Lord, thank, thank you for how you have been keeping me day after day. Our God is good. Our God is mighty. Our God is gracious. Our God is excellent. That's why we want to praise oh Lord, him. We want to so praise good him. Father, thank you. Thank, thank you because for your faithfulness, Lord. God. I thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. 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 I thank you I worship and bless your name, O oh Lord. As a glory, honor, the shout and give that your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Powers in the air, powers on the ground, powers in the waters, powers in the sea, powers in the sea, powers in the city, powers everywhere. The enemy will prevail over us. For us and the children. Thank you very much, Lord. This battle, you have helped us, O dear God, we praise you. 
appreciate God. We want to thank God for this prayer platform. The hands that God has been using to sustain this prayer platform. We want to thank God once again for all the brethren that God has been using on every side to sponsor this program. I want to tell you that financially it has not been that easy, but we give all the glory to God. We want to bless God for the provision of the Lord. We want to say, Father, thank you because he did not allow Satan and all his power to prevail over any over all our pastors on this platform, over all our brothers, all our sisters. Why don't you open your mouth and say, God, we honor you tonight. God, we honor you this hour. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. My Lord, Let's give him all you. the praise. Yes, yes, Let's thank God once again. Open your mouth and begin to praise him tonight. Father, we thank you. Almighty God, we rejoice in your presence tonight, O oh God. Thank you, my Father, for the way I've been sustaining this prayer platform, O oh God. You have led us all these years, O oh God, in this prayer platform. Your grace has been sufficient unto us, O oh God. Almighty God, we say thank you. Blessed redeem God, we appreciate you tonight. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I did a I want to come back to that our text again this night. He said, and at midnight, Paul and Silas they pray. Just as we are doing now, we are taking our time to pray because in the presence of God, that is power. In the presence of God, that is liberation. In the presence of God, that is deliverance. He said, people and silence, they pray and they sang praises unto God. And the prisoners, they heard them. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake. We want to pray tonight. 
We want to tell the Lord and say, God of heaven, let the power of, of the Holy Ghost, the power of resurrection, shake all the shakeables out of every life this night, down to the very foundation, the foundation of the prison in every life, in every home, in every heart. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight and say, God, let your mighty power begin to shake everything out of our life tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. I want to hear us pray, brethren. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. We are leaders, we are pastors. Let's open our mouth and pray to God and say, God, Lord, let your power come down tonight, oh God, and shake all the shake tables out of our lives, shaking out every prison door, all the foundation of the prison in our homes, in our family, in our finances, in our businesses, in our destinies, in our lives. Open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God, let everything be shaken out of place tonight by the mighty power of God. Open your mouth and begin to, I want to hear us pray, brethren, I'm not hearing us. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. And those of us that, uh, let's, let's try to unmute ourselves. Let's try to unmute ourselves so that we can communicate. In communication, now, we want to ask God and say, Father, once again, oh Lord, Lord, let all the foundation of the prison be Lord. Everything be shaking out of tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whether physical and spiritual, or the Lord to restrict them from the open be shaking out of place tonight, and let them be liberty for everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we pray for the people and bring forth everything to you tonight in every heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, everlasting. Amen. We are still praying, brethren. We want to pray. He's talking about the prison doors. He's talking about the foundation of that prison. Remember what happened in Acts chapter 12? In Acts chapter 12, I will quickly read. If you have your Bible there, just go along with me. In Acts chapter 12, verse 5, it said, Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. That's imprisonment. That's incarceration. But, you know, the church of God at this time, thank God for what they did. Uh, they said, this man, you took one of the pillars, James, the brother of James, of, uh, of John, and then he killed him. Uh, he succeeded in killing that one. And the people, the religious Jews, they were happy. They said, uh -huh. he, has, he has done that one. That's good, that's good. And then he went ahead and said, oh, I'm going to apprehend the second person, another pillar again in the church. Little by little, he want to be eliminating all the pillars. Little by little, he want to remove all the pillars. Uh, if you remove all the pillars, Father and everyone. Now everything is really woke up and say, ah, don't continue this way. And the Bible says, Peter Jacob is kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing. Father and everyone has to go for him. We want to pray tonight. Every prison door. Every prison door in our family. Every prison door. That is our family for our wife and our children. Even in the lives of our wives and our children, you want to pray to God and say, God, by the power of the Spirit of God, let every prison door be opened now. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God this morning. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord and say, God, by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, all the prison doors opened and asking my Father, Lord, by your mighty sovereign power, let all those prisons in the name of Jesus, 
We are still going to pray, brethren. You see, uh, we are talking about this prison door. Look at that verse 26 again. Acts chapter 16, 20, verse 26. He said, and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations, in plural, foundations of the prison were shaking. I want to tell you that all, some of the problems that people are having, it has its roots somewhere. It has its foundation somewhere. That's why sometimes we say foundational challenges, foundational problems, foundational this and that. And there are people like that. Let me tell you, there are some that could have gotten marriage, but there is a foundational problem either in the family lineage. There is a particular cause. There is a particular yoke. Somebody was discussing with me just, uh, you know, about a week ago. And then she said she had miscarriage. She had miscarriage. And then I said, ah, has it been happening like that before? He said, this is making the second time because she just married not, not, not too long. And there are people like that. The enemy keep on attacking yeah. them left and right and all that. Foundational problem. Challenges here mm, and there. Some people that they will just be in the family, they will be getting older. You know, ladies will be getting almost close to 40. Problem before they could get married. It's another struggle. It's another battle. We want mm. to pray all those foundational prison, all those God foundation God. of the prison. We want to pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let all those foundation, everything be shaken out of place. Tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord, brethren. Father, Let's ever we pray. And begin to make a decree. Our sex, our family, our brethren, and before you. The of all our we sisters, all our brothers who are having this foundational problem, foundational challenges on every side. There are some families that the end has been a we want to pray by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let all those foundational problems everything be wiped out by the blood of Jesus. Let everything be neutralized by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, tonight is a night of liberty. Tonight is a night of freedom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we are Pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to pray. He said, and immediately all the doors were open because they were praying, they were singing unto the Lord, they were calling upon the Lord. All the doors, the doors. Remember, these people, you know, it can be likened to what we are talking about now, even though they were apostles, yes. But let's look at it in a literal way now. So many people have been in prison, in prison to sicknesses, in prison to affliction, in prison to infirmities, just like that woman in Luke chapter 13 that Jesus Christ said, that woman that was bowed down for 18 years, Satan has kept that woman with that spirit of infirmity. We want to pray tonight, every prison of affliction, every prison of sicknesses, every prison of infirmity, in our individual family, maybe you have been spending morning, spending days going to the hospital, and there is a spirit behind it, and there is a power behind all those things. We want to pray tonight. That prison door, everything will be loose tonight, will be open tonight. There will be liberty for all, as many who have been affected in our various family. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's open our mouth and begin to ask God and say, God, we want the solution to that problem. Open your mouth and begin to ask God tonight. Let all the prison door be open tonight. Every prison door. 
Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Immediately, all the doors were opened, the doors of the prison. Every two be open tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Meaning that they were free, they were liberated, they were emancipated. Let there be emancipation, let there be total freedom tonight by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to ask God in the song that you shall make us free, we shall be free in thee. Open your mouth and and God has said, God, walk out your mighty miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we are praying. Amen. 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 Are we hearing my voice? In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, some years back, I was uh, doing home blessings somewhere. The story I want to tell you now is a story, I think about uh, 2004 or 2005, wow. precisely. I was teaching a particular girl who happened to be the daughter of one of the pastors of CAC when I was still at Oba many, many years ago. So one way or other, we, we, myself and the pastor, that pastor, we started talking at, at one particular point in time. I used to teach inside his church. I would go there to go and teach the girl because the church was very close to where I'm working, my the school where I was teaching that time. And so when we we're talking and all that, there are something that the man told me that challenged my heart and touched me. And the man opened his mouth to tell me that day. He said, do I realize that, that I was just asking about the mother of the girl and all that and all that and all that. Then in the process, he now opened his mouth to tell me something. He said, the mother is no more. The mother is late. And uh, he began to tell me the story of what actually happened. He said he was married to a witch. That she did, and that he did not know that his wife was a witch, an agent of darkness, who was disturbing uh, his ministry, causing commotion here and there. And uh, he said there was a part, just to cut the long story short, he said there was a time he began to wait upon the Lord, began to fast. And then they began to add Bejil upon Bejil. Almost close to, is it for either 14 days or 21 days or something like that? They were praying and seeking the face of God. He said all of a sudden he warned of the Bejil that he just had a sound in his ear that there was a kind of crack, like a building being torn, rendered into two. Yeah. And then one half of the of the building collapsed. While they were praying in the church, something was happening back in his house. And there was a thunder that God opened his eyes. There was a thunder strike. At that point in time, the wife also was attacking. And do you know why they were praying? Power past power. And the power of God prevailed upon that upon that woman. Do you know? Not too long, the woman died. The woman that was that was you know that was behind all the calamities and the woes you know disturbing and destroying and affecting the ministry of this man mm. of this of the of the of the man of God. His own wife was a witch, and eventually she gave up the ghost. I just tried to brief everything to to cut the long story short. There are families like that that are maybe mistakenly they got married to a strange woman. And is disturbing their life, disturbing their family, disturbing their ministry. We want to pray. That is a kind of imprisonment. We want to ask God tonight, Lord mm. God, look into our life tonight. As many families that have been affected one way or the other, Holy Ghost will move into action. Holy Ghost will move into every family. Father and Evil come before you, Lord, pray. Everyone that is coming at the request, telling that truth of passion, telling everyone I pray. Oh, 
That you are right in a church holder. That you are right in a church holder. In that day, oh Jesus. In that day, oh Jesus. Oh, Lord. And then it will come before your throne of mercy, O Lord. Father, I will say, set your people to carry free. You say your word, also I son of man, set me be free indeed. O Lord, God, no, say, O Lord. I Father, you ever pray that you arise for us, O Lord. Father, arise, O Lord. Father, arise, O Lord. Let's continue. On my children, on my wife, in the name of Jesus, on my business, and everything. Let's go. Arise, O Lord. Visit us, O Lord. Fight for me. Fight for everything that belongs to me, O Lord. And do something in our lives, O Lord. What? We want Yes. Do something new in our lives, O Lord. God, where is your, where is your face? Almighty oh, God, where are you? <laughs> look upon the, the earth. In the name of Jesus. Is it, is it, is it poverty? Is it childless? Is it hunger? Is it shame? But I said, oh, to God, you shall not even set anybody. You will look on to us. Oh, God. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Bestow your power. Bestow your mercy. Bestow your goodness upon me, Daddy. Let me see you. Let me see you. In us name we pray. Father, yes. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, before we go forward, I want to tell you that our time has changed in the United States again. Before we are yeah. having five hour differences, now it's six hour differences. It yeah. won't affect the Sunday program and then. Uh, now the Assyrian law it won't affect two of them, but I think it will affect Thursday instead of uh 10. I think they will move to Leon now. Mm -hmm. It will become night g again. Uh, and then the uh, uh, hour the hour of victory instead of two, I think it's yes, they will move to three. Move to three. Uh, yes, yeah, so but what three plus six is equal to eight, so they will move to three instead of two. Then, uh, but the remaining one is going to affect us here because instead of four this this today, we started by three, then in the nine, instead of two, we start by one. So, so for the we have America, we are going to adjust, but for the Nigeria, please, they have been adjusting too. But uh, it will be more challenging the next one now because, uh, like uh, Thursday prayer meeting, instead of 10, they will move to 11. Then uh, for the hour of victory, instead of, uh, no, I think hour of victory is going to affect us. No, it's going to affect you. It's instead of 2, I'm, I'm coming. You move to 3. They move to I think, uh, Pastor Matthew, praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Six hours difference. Six now, hours difference on Saturday. It will be from two to three okay. Nigeria time, not one okay. to two. Okay. From Instead two of, to okay. three Nigeria time. Six okay. hours Thank difference. Okay. Thank you very much. So, 
Let me to now Pastor Shagun have come. I don't know if you want to continue or I should continue. Uh, I don't know. But I want us to call upon the name of the Lord. The Father, you know there's something concerning me, uh, that interested me about the disciple. They went to Jesus Christ. They said, we don't know how to pray. Jesus now teach them how to pray. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. What is the kind of prayer I'm supposed to have prayed that I've not prayed? That have, they, that have not able to see solution or encouragement or answer to my prayer. Father, I want to call upon your name today. For a few minutes we have to call upon your name. Father, teach me how to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon your name. It's not a pride. It's not that we want to estimate yourself. It's just you follow the biblical doctrine. The disciple went on to know. They said, teach us how to pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Almighty Father, be by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay? Teach me how to pray. Lord of Lord, teach me how to pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. When God teach you how to pray, things are easy for you. You may just be just be thanking me. And then you will teach all things as possible. It may just be because of this concentration on your prayer on this particular area. You will see that and all things are prospering. Pros you can call upon the name of the Lord. Almighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Teach me how to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Teach me how to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Teach me how to pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father. In my financial aspect, in my wife aspect, in my in my husband aspect, in my children aspect, in anything that concerning concerning me, Father, I'm calling you every day, every hour, every minute. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the power of prayer, and the moment of prayer, the power that let one say and it is yes. The power that when it has come unto you, you don't even think, you don't even want to bother. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Teach me how to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Teach me how to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Teach me how to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For some of us, we are very, uh, uh, very, I, want, I don't want to uh, mispronounce that. Is it conversation? Or call the maybe conversation to our GS message. You know, there was a message yeah, he preached. I couldn't, I couldn't remember how vividly he said it. But for many of us that we are used to his message, we remember. He said there was an offense between uh, maybe somebody said something will happen to him or something like that. He now said, Because of you today, I always pray. But because of you today, I won't even pray. So that you will know that my God is God. Because there are nothing for me to pray uh, to pray uh, to pray for, then the expert mentioned the consequence of that on that particular person. There's a lot of things that has happened. Many of us, some people they call me uh they call me uh some uh, uh, fetish spirits or something like that. Because you know you know I'm very sorry to be to be mentioning this. I'm not a I'm, I, I what I eat most in pride is pride in my life. I eat it. It's, uh, there's a lot of things, some people that are very close to me, they do. I find it difficult to pray because I don't have time for them. There's a lot of things in my hand. I need to thank God. I need to take care of my children. I need to go to work. I need... So I can't remember that I'm causing somebody. I won't deceive you. I, I'm, 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 the only thing I can say, just give me, uh, I mean, watch me and you will see. I could have shared a lot of testimony to you. But when it comes to this time that I'm able to lean down, and say, God, this, 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 this. Know that that thing has gone to ultimate. I, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. So I want to I want us to call upon the name of the Lord once again. I will read these promises unto us. And then I want you that to use that promise to call upon the name of the Lord. It's not too late for any one of us. At the age of 70, God answered Abraham. He answered as a sinner. He has done a lot of things very late for many people. And the Bible let me know. Go and look at those people who have children late. They are children. They are so significant in the Bible that no one can forget them. 
So today is your time. Today is my time. If we have done something before, if we done something better in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. what are you crying? What is that thing that is hurting you? That you are repeating to Almighty God every day, and we are calling our prayer warrior, and we are calling every day to come and say this and cause that one and say that. And that is keep repeating itself. It is not the way. Tell Almighty God to open my way. Let me go on the right way. And if it is the way, you know, you know, you know it was like that for Peter. Yes, Jesus has gone. And Peter went to the 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 to the, to the, to the sea. Continue to catch me. Nothing. Because it is not the way. Until Jesus came now, we are now Jesus not told him. Feed my sheep. Now you can see what he, he able to achieve when he started sheep, uh, feeding the, the people. You call upon the name of the Lord. And this is the promise of the Lord I, I brought to you in the book of Genesis, chapter 15. Five to six, he said, and he brought him outside and said, Look toward heaven and number the stars. If you are able to number them, then he said to him, So shall your offering be. And he believed the Lord and he counted it to him as righteousness. My dear father and the Lord, my dear mother and the Lord, I want you to believe in the Lord for everything we are saying today. I say that, let's see, you are saying. That I'm seeing by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are not going to see it again in Jesus' name. Amen. I repeat it. That let's see, no matter where it's coming from, between your husband and, uh, and wife, between wife and husband, it may be as a result of money, it may be as a result of ministry. I'm calling upon you that by the power and the blood of Jesus right, let's see, I repeat it. We are not going to see it again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now call upon the name of the Lord. Almighty Father, this particular thing that is bothering me. If you cannot open your mouth loudly for us to hear, that's okay. It is within you and God. But if you want to say, yeah, that's okay. It is within you and God. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, this is rest in my life. I want you to remove it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my testimony to be full. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, let my testimony be full in the name of Jesus Christ. And love is enough on this. Father, oh my God, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. As your child, I shall be the partaker of the first partaker of the blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Why should I be brought to you? In Jesus' name we pray. <sighs> Something is bothering me about many of us. And you know that particular thing. We know the truth. The Bible says, if when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. You know where you are coming from. But there's a problem with some of us. We still always argue with argue with the, with the Lord. That's why that we know the mistake we have done. But if you have not done any mistake, that's fine. If you don't want me to take all the other, like somebody like me, that's fine. There's no way he will not provide a way out. If you know how God is providing a way out for me, you will be surprised. I will have been in jail, if not because of the Lord. Yes, the mistake can be done. But he let me know that mistake can be done. The sky will be there, but I will keep saving you. So if there's any error, Negotiate with the Lord today. The Father, this area have committed this, and I know that's what brought me to this level. But it is not your portion. You are, you are God. I'm a man. Whatever I must have done, forgive me, O oh Lord, and let me move forward. If there's no way, nothing you have done, it is your portion to be prosper. For God to enlarge you, for you to make it in this world. Now, remember God. God, I'm your child. And as, as a result of your child, the, 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 the young lion may lack. But the Bible let me know, as far as I'm your child, I will not lack. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Almighty oh, Father, we are ever situation you are, I am now. That we are not satisfied. Almighty oh, Father, move me forward from which in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The hour is yours. The hour is mine. The hour is yours. The hour is mine. Let us learn how to pray. Let us learn how to do Father to Son to Almighty God. Let us learn how to Son to Father to Almighty God. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, whatever may be the case, I come unto you as a child. Not as a child. 
as a child, what is that thing? What is that thing that is stopping me? That is stopping me? What is that blockage, Almighty Father? What is that thing that do not let me move forward? What is that thing that is claiming what you have been righteousness unto me? What is that thing that is claiming it to let me to, to let me stumble? Call upon the name of the Lord. Let your blood cover me, O 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 Lord. Move me forward. 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 Don't make my life to be an to be a source of revival for other people in the name of Jesus Christ. Wipe away my tear in the name of Jesus Christ. Wipe away my tear in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe on your word. I believe on your word. I believe on your word. By the power and the blood of Jesus, whatever might be a circumstance, almighty darling, that from my hand, I call upon the, the blood of Jesus Christ is bigger. Bigger than whatever I might have done. Forgive me in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is nothing, almighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Father, open way for me, O oh Lord. Open Open way for me, O oh Lord. Open way for me, O oh Lord. Let me have testimony. Let my testimony be full. Let my testimony be full. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, my dear brother, my dear father, and the Lord, I want to encourage you. If you have any of our mother and the Lord, yes, welcome. The Bible says, move forward. Recently, the arrow. Ah, the story I want to say, please, I don't want anybody to, to misquote it. Please don't misquote me, but I want to use it to encourage us. Because I note a lot of things, and then uh, because of the, some personal discussion between us, you may think it's, it's, it's not it. I just want to encourage us. The, our church in the another district, it was, they don't have worker, they don't have anything. So the pastor there was complaining. Many of us, you have seen the way I'm operating. I see Pastor Ali, he marked some of my program on the on Facebook. You can see the way I'm operating. Look at it very well, you will see. Then they don't have worker. Then they call, they, they call Arrow. That we have this member in the church, they are, they, but they are doing nothing. Arrow to them. Never depend upon human beings. There is no profit in the arm of flesh. Depend upon, upon God, depend upon yourself. You get what I'm saying? Depend upon God, depend upon yourself. Look at what gift, look at what God has given to you. Exploit it to move forward. Do not look, do not look at human beings. Human beings will ever fail you. You don't know what they are, what they, what they are, they are facing in, 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 in their life. I, so not everybody can be like oh, some of our fathers in the Lord. You know, you won't believe. There was a deep up I called Pastor that I think I wrote him. I'm very sorry to say this. You won't believe I called him. I said, excuse me, sir, where do you get money you are giving some of us? You won't believe it. But not everybody can be like Pastor Dada. I'm telling you. Not everybody can be Pastor Dada. But that's a gift God has given to him. And God is blessing him. So whatever God, God has given to you to explore, and there are some things he credits us for. There was a day he called me. I'm telling you, he called me. He said, you know, you know Pastor Matthew, among one thing I so appreciate in you is how you are taking your, your children along in the Christendom. You get what I'm saying? The gift God has given to every one of us is different. But I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, every one of us, we shall ascend in Jesus' name and we shall make it to the kingdom of God. So I want, I, I don't know if Pastor Shego has come back. If you have come back, I want you to pray because my the challenges is upon upon me. I want Pastor Shego to pray for every one of us. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, all things that is causing roadblock, all things that does not let us have satisfaction. Let me tell you one thing, my dear father, my dear, my dear brother, my, my dear mother, and everybody online. The more we are having a daybreak, the more we are doing what? The more we are moving to the grave. The more we are moving to the grave. So if we are full of complaining, nobody knows when our own rapture will come. Our own rapture will come when we say goodbye to the world. The question you need to ask yourself is what have you left behind as a legacy? So that's why you don't need to wait. 
whatever God that has given to you as ability, continue to move forward. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God is going to crown it in Jesus' name. Amen. The blood of Jesus Christ is greater than whatsoever. Whatsoever. At whatsoever you have challenges. And that efficacy of blood is what that is what? It's more than anything unto you. So by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God is going to open way for every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. And the grace of the Lord will be sufficient for you. Over, over, over to you, Pastor Shegun. Pray for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Our Father, we give you all the praises. Thank you so much for tonight. Thank you for leading us all through and bringing us to this very first Sunday in the month of November. You have led us thus far, and we appreciate for the encouragement we have equally received from your servant, O oh God. Father, we are praying and looking up unto you, God, that you will help us, O oh God, Amen. to constantly look unto Jesus. Amen. The one that invited us that call us into this work. Help us to look unto him, O oh God, every day and every time in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. No matter the challenges on our ways here and here, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, that we will not look at man. We will not look at what individual people, individuals around us are doing. But help us, O oh God, to focus our attention on the Lord Jesus Christ every day in the out of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we are asking and praying, O oh God, all the spiritual roadblocks mm -hmm. that the enemy has mm -hmm. mounted on the way. And they want to use it as a source of hindrance to hinder us from getting to our final destination. Father, mm. we are praying that tonight, oh God, all those spiritual roadblocks, all those you know, roadblocks in the family, in our ministries, in our individual lives, in, in our finances and all that. We pray, oh God, by your mighty power in the unit of faith, as we combine our faith together, we command all those spiritual roadblocks to be taken out of the way now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We shall end it well. Amen. Amen. We shall end well in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Not only that we are going to end well, we are going to finish strong and sound and formidable and indomitable in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, righteous Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Uh, before we share the great two things, I want to be, I want to before I forget the second one, the first one, Pastor Shegun mentioned all the roadblock that mm -hmm. man has put before for us. There are some roadblock we too we put before ourselves. The mm -hmm. Almighty God should remove it in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. If you look at somebody, there's a roadblock of disobedience. You get what I'm saying? For everyone that's close to me, you will see what I'm saying. There's a roadblock of disobedience. And when they, they, I said no, I see the consequence. So, uh, whom are we going to blame? For somebody that I, I was warned. You get what I'm saying? But I will share a lot. The time is coming and come to tell a lot of court testimony. We know that God is with his servant. You will be surprised. Mm -hmm. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, that God will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Yeah. If not, God love me. Many of us, you know, I will be in the jail. Mm -hmm. I will be in the jail. Let, let's say God is going to measure sin with all what has been happened before then. Now, with how God is bailing me out, who is going to be blamed? Is it God or man? It is me. It is me. Because everything was done by the church, including me. But God is going to, I mean, justify every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. And the second one I want to say, for some Amen. of us that will always do publicity, when you look at the way I did the publicity, you will see that I put Zoom on the top. And I put it on the top to the extent that anybody that wants to join, they will just touch it. It will lead the, it will lead them to it immediately. You can look at my possibility, uh, my publicity. Then before I started seeing everything, because some of them, some of our people, and then if you look at it, we see that we are more than 15 on the line today, except some people have dropped. That's good that it work out. So sometimes when we want to do publicity, let's look at some strategy 
that will let people quickly join instead of reading all what you want to say. So if those people who have not known us, they will read. But if those people immediately will start a prayer, they will be able to touch that Zoom and pam, they join immediately. Instead of them looking for number, looking for one thing or the other. So I, I, my own may not be the perfect one. But if you get, see have any perfect one that can quickly lead people to the prayer, please do it. God will help us in Jesus' name. And, but I see that it works today. Uh-huh. I think that's all. Uh, so we shall meet by... Anybody want to say something? Okay. We shall meet yes, by... Sir. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. I don't know whether you can join us in prayer. There's a brother that is in Victoria Island, Lagos Island. He was my senior. He read mathematics. His wife died of cancer. Now mm. again, they agonize again with cancer of the voice or something like that. Mm. So please, brother, join us in prayer. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Can I put it on our prayer platform too? Okay. I was planning to do that and play up about. Then let me. A uh, little advice I have about it. Although the United States is not Nigeria, or oh, Canada is not Nigeria, uh, this thing was very hard for me to say. But please, it's very hard for me to say. But I will say uh, there is nothing God cannot do. You remember that sister, the sister that joined your sister, uh, Yabo Onigbe. You remember she told you that she had cancer. Hmm. You remember she had cancer. She went to everywhere. She went to fetch this place. She went to Ikiti. You know when somebody went to Ikiti? You know what I mean? Mm. From Canada. Then she went everywhere. But by the grace of the Lord now, the cancer, I want I want to increase our faith about it. The cancer I get to the stage that it cannot spread again. Mm. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. So they, they just want to, they want it to, they want it to be killed totally. Mm. But the, the question why I said Canada is not Nigeria is this. When that thing started, she stopped working totally. Mm. So government started giving him money. And then they take care of the something like that. I think insurance, they started taking care. So that's why I, I a little bit caution my mouth about it that Canada is not. Uh, but now she too, she started praying. If you see in the afternoon, my sister is in prayer. If you call him in the night, my sister is on prayer. She mm-hmm. stopped all these false prophets. If you talk about prophet for, for before her now, she will not get cutlass to cut your head. About mm. prophet. <laughs> <laughs> you see, tell your story. <laughs> you will laugh tired. <laughs> they not they they remove the front. Only God say. Mm. Only God say for. But with Prayer, with prayer, with prayer, now by the grace of the Lord, she's having testimony. And testimony will be full in Jesus' name. So what mm-hmm. I want to say, do not let us, because immediately you hear about cancer, it will not be part of any one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Lord, Jesus Christ, we will not witness it in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. cancer, you always mm-hmm. believe that's the end. There's something I want to say, but very big in my mouth, but please, if I say it, just bear with me that that's my little knowledge that there was so one pastor that told me that immediately they tell you that it's a cancer just do as if you neglect it not that you neglect it you get what i'm saying but all the mm-hmm. negative thought that is coming you know mm-hmm. possible mind heals many times than any other thing but sometimes when you are in when you are not in a problem you will you won't know how it is until you are in that in that or in that shoe you get what i'm saying so that's why i'm questioning all what i'm saying but with God, all things are possible. So we continue to pray for him, and by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, his testimony will be full in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's join our faith with his faith. Amen. The power and the blood of Jesus Christ is going to escape death in the name of Jesus Christ. And that time, we, God will heal him totally in Jesus' name. Amen. So Amen. we can share the... We will still pray for him by the grace of the Lord. In the platform, let us all of us let us continue to feel this power, pray for one another, and then we meet in the night. Uh, Pastor Sheikh, we can still pray for him for about one thirty seconds because our we I don't know why Pastor didn't join today. So pray, and then you let us share the grace after your prayer. Sir.
No disease, no inf- Amen. 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 I think he has gone. Mm. That at the name of Jesus, every knee bow. Amen. Lord, the case of that brother before you. Amen. Lord, all the cancer of the throat, mm. cancer of the voice, or whatever it is, whatever names, all the can- all the germs of cancer, Lord, there is nothing you cannot do, my Father. Mm-hmm. That thing that the enemy planted there, Lord, this night by the power in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ and by the blood of Jesus, we command everything to be rooted out, to be flushed out, out of his throat, out of his body, out of his system, Every part of him, oh God, we command that thing to disappear now in Jesus' name. Amen. Your your supernatural finger into his body, into his blood, into his muscles, into his voice, into every part of him. Pull out that germs of, of, of cancer and destroy everything, let everything dry up now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We decree upon the life of that our brother, he will not die in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says we shall not die for him and declare the works of the Lord. Every spirit of death, every realm over his life, we nullify, we cancel even this night, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we declare, we decree that this week, oh God, it will be a week of joy, a week of celebration, a week of happiness and divine supernatural favor for every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Goodness and mercy we follow. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For your Jesus, mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you. So let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the and the Holy Spirit, Surely, the Lord shall follow us all this life, and what is the house of the Lord? Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We have testimony in Jesus' name. We are having testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.